another bongo video what's going on everybody hope everybody's doing well so for today's video i'm gonna play something funky and groovy on the bongos it's pretty easy but you gotta love it Welcome to Percussion Life, my name is Eric Perez. If you are new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. And please, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, hit that notification button, and also, like the video. It really does help me out. It's kind of help push these videos out. And also, to all my day one, seriously, thank you so much for all the love, all the support. And also, for those of you who've been, been around, you already know, August 9th, it's my birthday. Gotta love it. Kid is getting old. Kid is getting old, but, I did want to show a simple little funk groove that you can do on the bongos. It's uh, you know pretty choppy, pretty pretty nice and smooth and groovy. And we're gonna count it later so you can know where we're starting at. And it's uh, it's yeah, it's something I'd like to share. So uh, let's get into it. Like I said, it's gonna be kind of funky up in here, but yeah, let me show you what I'm doing. So if you notice, there's a lot of grooviness, a lot of, you know, ghost notes and things like that going on and towards the end of the little demo, just wanted to throw in the little combinations in there. I'm not gonna show that, but I will show you the bass pattern and you'll see kind of like the timing of where you may have some space to just add some riffs and little combinations to make sure that you're still, you know, in time. But yeah, to start off this pattern, what I actually do just to get into it, because the embras really, like that first hit on the embras really where you're gonna be on your one. But I start this with an open with my non-dominant hand on the macho, and then I do two opens with my dominant hand on the embra. After doing those two opens on the embra with your dominant hand, now with your non-dominant hand, you're actually going to do kind of like a palm thumb hit. So it's gonna be like uh, two hits with your bottom part of your hand, and then you're gonna do a slap or a close slap with your dominant hand on the macho. And then with your non-dominant hand, you're gonna go back to doing that open and then those two opens on the ambita with your dominant hand. So it's kind of like you're repeating the first part again, but let me show you that real quick. So if you notice, it's more like a bass and then a thumb with your non-dominant hand before doing the slap with your dominant hand. So it's kind of, you know, adds a little bit more dynamic, but to put those two parts together, it's gonna sound like this. And that's kind of like the whole meat of this little funk groove. After this is where we start to add a little bit more of the accents and ghost notes and those little close laps. But that's really what's driving this funk pattern. After doing those two opens, again, we're going to do that little reference of the bass thumb kind of hit on the macho with your non-dominant hand. And then we're gonna do a close up again with our dominant hand on the macho. So it's kind of like the same thing that you did previously. But this time, after doing that, you're gonna do an open with your non-dominant hand and then an open with your dominant hand to then go back to doing a bass close slap. That kind of finishes the groove. Wow, that was easy. That was so easy, y'all. But yeah, let me kind of show you that.
those two opens are like a refresher in this groove. So you're gonna hear it kind of like pop out of nowhere after doing, you know, just the main, the meat of it. Those two hits on the ambra, which really kind of add, you know, the groove together. But yeah, to put everything together, it's gonna sound like this. I was about to get carried away there, man. I was about to just keep on going. But literally, after you do that last close slap, you're gonna go back to do that open, that first hit that we did with a non-dominant hand on the macho. That's what's really gonna help you just keep on going with this groove. But yeah, to play it all the way through, it's gonna sound like this. Man, you gotta love these kind of grooves, man. I'm trying to tell you guys. It's just, ah, I love it, I love it. But just to give you guys a little clue, after doing that, you know, those last two hits on the embra, you have that space to then go back and then hit that reference of patutu if you wanted to do a riff, for example. Sorry, I was feeling it a little bit there, y'all. But yeah, as you see, you have so much time and space to then do a little bit of something, again, going on with the groove, to then come back to doing those first two hits on the ambra. Remember that, Ba-do-do. Those, those are your reference points, man. Those are your points where you could come in and out and just improvise or just add a little riff. Please don't do it every time because then you're gonna get fired. Letting you guys know that. But yeah, it's nice. It's a nice little add-on to just see, you know, just about how much time you have to then, you know, continue on with the groove. But yes, to just count it slowly for you guys so you can see how the feel is with the time. It's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two. Three, four, one, two, 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 three, four. Ah, man, you gotta love these little bongo videos. They add just a little bit, you know, more spice to get get us away from the from the conga stuff. But yeah. Please try this at home. It's a nice little groovy pattern. 
you know, has some little go-go influences here from the DC area. Again, this is not a traditional pattern to play for go-go, especially because, you know, nobody just plays the bongos and, and go-go. But it has that feel. You can apply it in various different types of funks and grooves and even some smooth jazz. And, you know, it's you, you can really, you know, make it your own and be creative with it. But please take your time, put it on a metronome, and uh, get creative with those little, you know, improv places and where you can just add a little bit more characteristic to this group. But all right, y'all, y'all already know what to do. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.